world, I'm the Courageous Goldfish, and today I'm afraid! <laughs> I'm so afraid! Today, the box which has graced my front porch contains the Sailor Moon HGIF Premium Collection. Now, I pre-ordered this way back in January, and so it's been a long time coming for me to get this package. However, I'm a little bit afraid because the promo pictures look so nice, they look so great, and I was like, yes, I will give up my left limb for this. And so I pre-ordered it from Anime Osaka, and then people started getting them like two to three weeks ago and they look suspect. <laughs> they don't really look like the promotional pictures from the photos that I've seen of people unboxing them. And so I'm really, really afraid that I'm gonna open them and not like them because they were very expensive. And honestly, I already know that they're not gonna be worth the price I paid for them, but I'm just hoping that somehow I'll think it's a great addition to my collection, even if it was insanely overpriced. So I don't have high hopes, but we're, we're here to do it. It is also insanely hot in my house right now. Uh, we do not have air conditioning, so if I look like I'm sweating, then <laughs> I am. The lights are hot and the sun is hot and I'm my brain is frazzled. But yes, I did pre-order this off of Anime Osaka. It's my first time using Anime Osaka, and so I didn't really know how it works. Uh, so I did place my pre-order in January, paid the initial $120 USD, and I was dumb and thought that that included the shipping. And so people started getting the photos of this thing and I was like, oh no. And then they sent me an invoice for like $40 US for shipping. Thing, and I was like, that is totally not their fault, that's mine, I didn't know how it worked, and so I can't be mad about that. It's just like, it sucks because I definitely way overpaid for this, to be honest. Like, I'm not happy about how much I paid. Uh, they retailed on Premium Bandai, when you ordered it off like the Premium Bandai website, it was $80 for the whole set. Uh, and I paid $120 plus $37 USD, which is kind of closer to $200 Canadian, which is just stupid. Honestly, like, I know I definitely overpaid for this, um, but I have it now, so <laughs> I might as well enjoy it, you know? I haven't even opened it yet. I don't need to be a Debbie Downer. I'm just kind of sad about how much I paid for it, for it to be the quality that it looks like it's going to be. I liked this figure at first because I liked the novelty of having all five of the Inner Sailor Senshi together on the same base. Um, so I was really, really excited about it. I pre-ordered it for that reason because I'm not really a huge, huge figure collector. And so I didn't really want to be buying like five different figures to get all the characters and then have them like stand together. Like that takes up a lot of space, right? I'm conservative about space. And so I wanted a figure that had all of them on the same base. And this is gonna give me that, so I can't be too mad about it. Okay, so let's just get into opening this. I want to open this box and see what it was I paid $200 for. <laughs> I promise I'm not going to stay hung up on that the whole video. Uh, I'm just, I'm salty right now, but it is what it is. Got this cute handwritten note on the top here, which is so cute. It's on Sailor Moon paper. You can see it's got Princess Serenity on there. That's so cute. Paper, paper, paper. And another box. So this, I guess, is the premium Bandai box that it came in, I suppose. So maybe this was the box with the box that Anime Osaka put in a box. Boxception. Ooh, this is the front of the box here. Sailor Moon HGIF Premium Collection. It's got a photo of all of the figures in the moon here with a nice pretty pink background. So cute! Moment of truth! Moment of truth! Wow! Shiny round of applause! Woohoo! Okay, let me get this stand out of here. So the base is a very dark blue with the gold details. So it's got some like filigree on the sides here. Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon on the bottom. It is pretty big as well, like it's pretty hefty. Like this is my face next to it. 
I have a pretty big head, but if that gives you some scale. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the figures. Jupiter fell out, and so we're gonna talk about her first. Okay, this is not too bad to be honest. Uh, I have high standards because Sailor Jupiter is my favorite senshi, but to be honest, her face is pretty good. Her paint job is really nice. So, it's not actually too bad. There's a little bit of paint defect on her skirt here, which again, if you're paying $200 for this thing, you don't really wanna have any paint defects on it. But to be honest, that's the only paint defect that I can see on her. So it's okay. Yeah, it's just a little bit on her skirt. Like, I don't even know if the camera can pick it up all that well. But there is some, something weird going on with the paint there. This is Sailor Venus. She's pretty all right, actually. Uh, there were some people that were saying that they think that her eyes are too low on her face. But to be honest, when you look at her in person, she looks a lot less derpy than she does in the unboxing photos. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised about that. As far as paint defects go, um, she's got a little bit on her bow here, but I'm not even really sure that you'll be able to see it on the camera because it's kind of covered by her arm. Uh, can't be too mad about that. The only thing that I will say that's a little bit weird though is that there's this weird seam here with her hair, like right here. Cause her hair kind of pools on the base. And I think it's a little bit weird that they didn't like make that seem a little bit less noticeable. That's kind of weird to me. But to be honest, this Venus in real life looks a lot better than the ones did in the photos that I saw. So not too mad about that yet. Then we got Mercury. Mercury looks pretty good, actually. Her facial expression makes sense. Her pose is cute. Uh, she also does not have any defects that I can tell. Like her paint job is pretty perfect. So far this is going better than I thought it was going to, which is good. So we'll talk about Mars next. Her facial expression's not too bad either. It's not my favorite, but it's not horrible either. Uh, she has no seams on her hair like Venus does, even though she is also kneeling. Um, the only thing I have to say, like her shoes are a little bit weird. Like they're kind of bleeding up. The paint job isn't super crisp. Uh, and also her head. My head is like wobbly. And the way that they painted her choker kind of makes it look like she was decapitated. So that's a little bit weird. And then of course, the woman of the hour, Miss Sailor Moon. It's not my favorite out of the collection, but it's also not horrible. It's like Mars's, you know? I think that her smile is a little bit weird. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, but she doesn't have any noticeable paint defects either, which is great. Uh, her choker is not weird like Mars's is either. Um, she's got some shading on her boots, which is a little bit strange. But I honestly don't mind that because it's extra detail, right? You want extra detail when you're paying that much for this thing. Um, but yeah, no paint defects on her. The one thing that was interesting is that uh, when this figure was on display at the Sailor Moon store in Japan, uh, they had a prototype there for people to see. Uh, her brooch was fully painted, like it had the gold details and everything like that. This is not. This is just straight pink. Uh, and I saw photos of people unboxing it and they were like, yo, her brooch isn't painted. And I was like, that's weird. It's just a pink circle in the middle. 
and it would be better if they had actually painted it with the gold. However, in actually having this figure, I don't know how well you can see it, there are actually sculpting details of the crystal star in there. So it's not just a pink circle, it does have the sculptural elements, it's just not painted. The reason why I'm so mad that I paid so much for them is because these exact figures, same pose, same paint job, same everything, uh, come out in single packs as well, and they cost $12 each. And so it would have been a lot more cost effective to just buy the five Sailor Senshi in that form and display them all together rather than pay like $150 extra just for the base here. I'm gonna see if I can try and figure out how to get them in here. So obviously Sailor Moon goes in the middle. I'm trying to be really, really careful with Mars because she seems like she's the most delicate out of all of them. I'm really afraid about that whole like wobbly head thing. So I'm being really, really careful with her. And that, my friends, is the fully assembled Sailor Moon HGIF Premium Collection. I am overall pretty happy to have this actually, so I'm pleasantly surprised by how well this went. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Obviously there's little things that I wish were different, uh, but overall, not too bad. Did I overpay? Of course, but you live, you learn, you're here to spend the money that you make, and so I am going to just focus on the fact that I now have a really cool Sailor Moon figure in my collection. I don't know how I'm gonna display this though because the base is really wide and so I don't know if I have a shelf that will fit this, but we'll see. The thing about figures and Sailor Moon is that Bandai has the rights to license Sailor Moon. So as far as I understand it, they have not sold the rights to any other figure companies to make figures. And so Bandai are the only ones that have the license to do so, which is why we don't have very amazing official Sailor Moon figures. We always get these weird looking ones uh, that are not super well executed because it's Bandai that's doing them and they won't sell the license to other well-known figure companies. As far as I understand it, that's the reason why we don't have like Nendoroids or like Artifacts J statues or like any of those other really popular figure lines that seem to do every single character imaginable. Haven't done Sailor Moon, the cult classic, because Bandai has the license for it. And that's something I think is really sad because as a community, I would love to see some really, really awesome Sailor Moon figures, but Bandai doesn't want to give up the license. So I think that they should either do something neat with it or just give it to other figure companies so that they can do really amazing things with it. Obviously that's the way that I see it and that's how I understand the situation to be, but I'm just a nerd in a pink bedroom, so you know. Take my words with a grain of salt. That is all I have to say about this Sailor Moon HGIF Premium Collection. If you are interested in me, hey, hi, hello, I do videos on anime, anime figures, anime culture, lifestyle, anything like that. And so if you are interested, perhaps you would like to stick around and drop the subscribe. And even if you're not sticking around, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.